Welcome or welcome back to Shaping Your World with Sha. I'm Sha and on this channel I talk about lifestyle related topics as they relate to the woman over 40, 50 and beyond. And today I'm going to be going over what I wore last week, Fragrance Edition, Week 5. <music> So jumping right in, as we know, back in week three, I was still playing around with some samples that I had ordered from Wilhelm Perfumeries. They came in a box like this, and they look like this. They were two, this is a two mil sample. And so I was playing with two fragrances, Morning Chess and Dear Polly. So again, I was continued playing with Morning Chess because I hadn't been quite sure about that, but I did go on to order a bigger size bottle of Dear Polly. We'll get into that next. But starting off with Monday, I wore uh, Morning Chess by Wilhelm Parfumeries. Again, I'm just continuing to play with it. And what I'm finding is that because of the leather in the mid, that Tuscan leather, it's really nice but it's also really masculine. And I found that as, um, as I've been had it sitting, it's been, that leather has been developing into a richer and more uh, full body scent so that it really shines through to me the entirety of the fragrance. From start to finish, I pick up that Tuscan leather. And for that reason, um, I'm gonna not order a bigger size of this. I'm probably going to give this what's left of this to my husband and let him test it out because I think this will go really nice on a man. But that was my fragrance of the day on Monday. And again, that's Morning Chest by Wilhelm Parfumeries. So on Tuesday, I had ordered the larger size of the Dear Polly, and that was my scent of the day. And it came in this really nice box. I like this. So the box looks like this. And then there's a second box that the bottle sits in and it just um, slides right in. So I thought that was a really nice packaging. And this is their 20 mil size. So this is, it's still kind of like a sample, but obviously it's 20, it's 20 mil versus the little two mil. Um, so, this is the fragrance size that I think is gonna be good to carry me through the summer. I really love the Ceylon black tea note that comes through. For me, it's the note, This it's the predominant note in this fragrance. It carries through really nicely. And I feel like it blends really well with the apple, between the apple and the black tea. This is, it's, it's a beautifully done fragrance. I, I'm a real fan of tea fragrances. Uh, I really love Replica's Matcha Meditation. I think that's a beautiful tea fragrance, but it doesn't last like more than an hour on me. So I do have a travel size of that, but I would never buy a full size bottle because it just doesn't last. But this is a fragrance that I think I probably, unless I get tired of it, I can see myself buying a full size bottle of this. But for now, I have this 20 mil size and this was my fragrance of the day on Tuesday. Wednesday, you know, I tell you all the time, I live here in the Northeast, our temperatures plummeted. I mean, plummeted. We were down into the 20s by the weekend. But so on Wednesday, that's when the temperature started dropping. So it was nice and cool. So I pulled out some heavy hitters. I pulled out Altair by Parfums de Marley and uh, Madagascar Vanilla Perfume Oil by Nest New York. And I've um, talked about both of these fragrances individually, but I layered them together. I really love, um, particularly, I love the Madagascar Vanilla Oil. It's a fragrance that I think layers very well. I think that for some people, they could wear this alone and carry it off very nicely. For me, the note coconut doesn't sit very well on my skin, but in this particular fragrance, because of all the vanilla, um, it kind of subdues the coconut so that it doesn't go completely sour on my skin. But by the same token, this is not something I generally would wear by itself. You will, most likely you will find me layering this. And so um, I found it paired really well with the, the vanilla bourbon that's in the, um, 
Ulta hair. These together, I enjoyed very much. I kept getting whiffs of myself throughout the day, particularly because it was cold. Um, that cold air really carried over um, this fragrance. I love this fragrance. It's a unisex fragrance, but... Um, a lot of women find this very appealing. It it's kind of more noted, notably thought of as a fall fragrance because of the nature of it. But I love it. Um, I love it. I thought it went really well with the Madagascar vanilla perfume oil, and so those were my um, combined layered scents on Wednesday. So on Thursday, I stuck with the layering, and I stuck with Nest <laughs> Nest perfume oil and this is their turkish rose and i paired it with uh burberry her this is the original burberry her um we know there's a ton of flankers but this is the original and you know it's the original because it's in the clear bottle and i love these together i've worn them together before i definitely have talked about them in a layering video that i did in the past i'll link that video down below but um with regard to the Turkish Rose Perfume Oil, I can wear this by itself. I love this fragrance so much. It's so pretty. Um, I think the presence of the combination of the, the rose, the Turkish Rose with the black plum and the, the blonde woods, the pink pepper, they all play so nicely together. They do like a beautiful dance. And I find this to be a very, um, very fragrant, not too overbearing. I find it can be worn any time of day, any occasion. I think this is a, a great, easy pull. And I love this fragrance. I have worn it by itself numerous times. Um, I have a travel size rollerball that I um, generally will take with me when I go on vacation. I love this fragrance very much. But I also really love it paired with the uh, Burberry Her. Although the Burberry Her doesn't have any rolls, the it and it also doesn't have strawberry i think i've said in one of my videos i do think i kept referring to this as having a strawberry scent there is no strawberry note in this fragrance but what it does start off with is black currant blueberry and raspberry and i think the combination of the berries together i don't know for some reason they give us a strawberry um fragrance and i'm not the only person i've heard a lot of people say that too that it really gives strawberry for some reason but really nicely not like a it's not a youthful strawberry but it's a nice mature strawberry because then you've got the jasmine accord and the musk and the dry amber they come in um they kind of lift up lift up the strawberry or they lift up the berries <laughs> so that they're not coming across too youthful or juvenile this is a very very mature in a sexy way it's a grown and sexy type of fragrance in my opinion i did wear it to work but i do also feel like this is a scent that can be worn any time of day any occasion it is also an easy grab i think you know you can wear this anywhere anytime and you are going to definitely command attention i always get compliments when i wear this fragrance so that was uh nest new york's turkish rose perfume oil with burberry her uh, was my layering combo on Thursday. So then on Friday, it got even colder. So I pulled out the big gun. Kayali's Vanilla Royale Sugared Patchouli. And when I... <clears throat> this is one of my favorite fragrances in my collection. I love the way um, Sugared Patchouli is so 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 appropriate for the name of this because that's exactly what it is it's it's patchouli sugared and it's it's so beautifully sugared i mean if you like patchouli you may love this if you don't like patchouli stay far far away from this because even though it's vanilla royale sugared patchouli it's predominantly patchouli the vanilla just uh helps sweeten it up lends itself to that sugar factor it's a very beautifully done patchouli and but it's extremely extremely heavy i would not wear this in warm temperatures i would say 50 55 you know once once you get over the 55 mark i feel like you're getting <laughs> you're gonna start to kind of maybe um, create a, a real cloud around you that could be a little unbearable for people around you. But anything 55 and under, 
this is a beautiful fragrance if you're someone that likes um patchouli and i like how they they put the notes on the back also there's creme brulee in here also golden rum vanilla sir absolute i mean this is a uh this fragrance is like i said one of my favorites in my entire collection i love this and I, I i think it's a beautifully done patchouli and i wore this on friday so that was it it's uh it was a short week for me because on saturday we had torrential rains and heavy heavy winds so i stayed in so that rounds out my week. let me know what you wore last week and definitely don't forget to drop your send of the day below as always, this video is not sponsored, but I will leave links to all of the products that I talked about today. Uh, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, this is Shaping Your World with Shaw. See you next time.